It took four days worth of work to make $584,000 in sales with TikTok Shop Affiliate. So I'm gonna show you the behind the scenes. We're even gonna record a video together to show you how I was able to do this and how you can too. I'm gonna show you the account, some results, and even how to do it step by step. All I'm doing is posting videos on this account every single day about different products that people can buy on TikTok. We're actually gonna make a video live together, but let me show you the results first. First month was November, about 68 grand, about 8,000 in profit, so not too bad. December, a quarter million in sales, and about 50k in profit not too shabby either. January, about 185 grand in sales and 34,000 in profit. February, I stopped posting as much and I'll get into why, but we had about 60,000 in sales and 10K in profit. In March, I didn't post a single video on this account. I started growing other pages and it still brought in 3,000 bucks in profit, which is just crazy. And it was all from the old videos that I had posted. So I'm excited to show you guys how to do this in a much deeper way. That sounds really weird, but we're gonna go behind the scenes on how to actually do this. So how much time did it take me to actually make all this money? So in total on this page, I've brought in maybe be 110, 120,000 in actual profit straight to my bank. And it took less than four days worth of work. So I've posted about 252 videos in total. And each video takes about 20 minutes to make 252 videos times 20 minutes. That's 5,000 minutes. Jeez, that's a lot of minutes. There's 60 minutes in an hour. So if you divide it by 60, about 84 hours total. And if we divide that by 24 hours a day, it took about three and a half days worth of work to make that much money. I worked as a manager at McDonald's for 40 hours a week for two weeks total, and maybe I'd make two to 3,000 bucks. And in the same amount of work time that it took to make that two to three grand, you could have done TikTok shop and made over a hundred grand in profit. The crazy part is you could have already been making money with this, like Trev Dog. He's inside of TikTok Mastery, my community, and made over 500 bucks in one single day. And he learned how to do this inside of TikTok Mastery, which is in the description. Try it out, three days free if you don't like it, Peace out. But anyways, let's actually go outside and we're going to record a video from scratch. We're going to hop in my car, go to the park, go to the, <laughs> my Boston accent came out, go to the park, record it, edit it, and post it. So if you guys want to see the behind the scenes, come with me. I'll see you in a sec. We're about to record and we got this dope product. Look at this thing. So you pretty much hang this on like your visor and then look at that. Boom. Hold your phone. So we're going to make a video with this thing and hopefully it pops off. I think it's like 20 bucks on the TikTok shop, something like that. We're about to go behind the scenes. What happens? How do these people make so much money on TikTok shop? About to show you. Let's do this thing. I'm going to stick this to my face. <laughs> I look like an idiot. This microphone isn't for the TikTok. This is just so you guys can hear me. So remember, when we're making videos, first we got the hook. So I'm about to record the hook and show y'all. Super simple, right? So load up some TikTok. $23.99 on the TikTok shop. All right, so it's usually... 30 bucks, right? So it's a really good deal right now. Also has free shipping. It's just a banger product. So obviously make sure the product solves the problem. This one, it's a phone holder. It's perfect. Look at that thing. So I found a comment reply. It says best way to crash your car, which, you know, it's a very controversial comment. So we're going to kind of go off of that and people will stop to watch. Remember, the hook is super important and it's a lot easier to keep their attention after they're hooked. So we're really going to focus on this hook. We might have to redo it a few times, but, uh, yeah, let's go for it. The Boston accent out too. Best way to crash your car. We're, we want to directly call out the audience that's going to watch this. So it's going to be car people. So. so if your car has one of these things and you're crashed, then you're just kind of an idiot. No, that was mean. Yeah, that was mean. You're telling me that you'd crash your car if you put your phone here? I mean, unless you're blind, the thing doesn't get it. I mean, yeah, if you're blind, you're going to crash. This thing ain't even in the way. You just attach it to your visor like this. But this thing's awesome. You just attach it to your visor like that and boom, now you're... This thing's awesome. You just attach it to your visor and then boom, it holds up your phone. And if you're watching YouTube with your babe and she's like, Hey, I can't see the phone. No problem. Boom. Now you can see it. No problem. Boom. Now you can see it. If you're watching YouTube with your babe and she's like, Hey, I can't see the phone. No problem. Boom. Now you can see it. <laughs> I make myself laugh. The, the accent's so stupid. All right, so we got the hook down, right? I think the hook is pretty solid, right? We're directly calling them out. You're telling me that you'd crash your car if you put your phone here? You're telling me you'd crash your car if you put your phone here? So it almost feels like I'm talking to them because I'm saying you, right? So by saying you, the word your, anything like that, they're going to feel a lot more compelled to watch. It's more personal. And now that the view is hooked in, then I just start talking about the actual product. Like, yo, it's cool. It goes on the visor. And then I make a little joke. But if your babe's here, you just go like that and bada bang, bada boom, it works awesome. So we're going to do a little bit more and then the call to action. This thing's great. You can move it any direction and it stays up. Oh, no, it doesn't. And when you're done watching YouTube, you just turn it like this and boom, you're back to driving. All right, here comes the call to action, right? We really need to hook them in on it. So if you want to grab this thing, it's only, so if you want to grab this thing, it's usually 30 bucks on the TikTok shop. But right now it's only 23 with free shipping. So if you want to grab one, now's your last chance. That video is a banger. So let's go ahead and edit this, right? So we're going to click on back. You're telling me that you 
go to the editor and what I like to do is always chop it up. We need really fast cut clips, bada bing, bada boom. The faster the better because keeping people's attention is very difficult. All right, so we go to the end of the clip, chop off just a tiny bit. Beat your phone here. I mean, yeah. All right, you see that pause at the beginning? I mean, yeah, if you're blind. That, that is just like unprofessional, right? We're perfectionists here. And yeah, if you're blind, you're Look at that. Look how clean that is, right? Car, if you put your phone here. And yeah, if you're blind, you're gonna crash. This thing ain't even in the way. This so we're just gonna do that for the entire video, right? Chop in the beginning and the end, making it one, like, long run-on sentence. You can't see the phone. No problem. Boom. Now you can see it. <laughs> so stupid. Free shipping, so if you want to grab one, now's your last chance. Point the camera at my wiener. Crash. Let me turn this down. So we're gonna put the comment reply top left. Not too big, but big enough where people will see it. Yeah, we'll keep it for a little bit. Only for like two clips on the video. Right, I never add any music, none of that crap. So we're gonna watch it back. This is edited, pretty much ready to go. We don't add music, we just add the caption at the top and that's it. So let's check it out. You're telling me that you'd crash your car if you put your phone in? And yeah, if you're blind, you're gonna crash. This thing ain't even in the way. So that was the hook, right? We called them out, we said the word you, we were entertaining, we had the little Boston accent. And remember, it does not look like an ad. That's the key. If it looks like an ad, people are gonna scroll. No one goes on TikTok to like binge watch ads. This thing's awesome. You just attach it to your visor and then boom, it holds up your phone. If you're watching YouTube with your babe and she's like, hey, I can't see the phone. No problem. Boom. Now you can see it. When you're done watching YouTube, you just turn it like this and boom, you're back to driving. That was the meat and potatoes, right? It was only three, four clips, just informational, saying how the product works, right? Showing it off. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. This thing's awesome. But you just need to make sure that you explain how it's actually used. If you don't, then people aren't going to understand. And why would they buy something that they don't know how it works? If you want to grab this thing, it's usually 30 bucks on the TikTok shop. But right now, it's only 23 with free shipping. So if you want to grab one, now's your last chance. So what I did there at the end was I said how much it usually is, right? 30 bucks and then I'm like hey it's only 23 right now and free shipping so by saying what the price originally was it gives people in their mind something to compare the new sale to because if I just said hey it's 23 bucks on the TikTok shop it's down here no, no one's going to be compelled to buy it right it's an emotional purchase justified by logic in order to do that we need to tell them what the original price was oh you know what I did this was genius in the video I didn't realize I called this thing like this little mirror I called this a visor so now people are going to comment, oh, I'm not going to fix that. And it's actually a little trick because if you say things that are a little bit wrong, right? It doesn't ruin the whole video, but it's just a little bit wrong. People always want to comment like, you're wrong. You're wrong. Me, me, me. It's like, come on, who cares, right? But the watch time goes up because when they're commenting, they're still watching the video in the background. It's sick. What is this thing? What even is this thing called? A back mirror? Oh, rear view mirror phone holder, right? Yeah, that's fire. Look at that thing. All right, so for this, this thing is a game changer. Hashtag car talk. We want this to be sent to people that have a car and then car phone holder. You should have four to five hashtags. Make sure that it's pretty much telling TikTok where you want the video to be shown. So if you put, you know, car talk, it's going to be showing these videos to people that like cars. Phone mount, people that like phone mounts, you, you get the point. Let's actually add the link. Go to product and... Uh, yeah, let's find it. It's right here. It's by Yo-Yo. Oh, wait. That's the wrong one. Yeah, it's this one. It's by Yo-Yo Way. It's a weird name. Yeah, that's the one. It's 15% uh, commission. Not bad. So let's actually add that. Phone holder mirror mount. Yeah, we'll just keep it like that. That's fine. That's pretty much it. We're just going to click on post. And that was one video made. So we're just going to do a few more today. And that's a wrap. But the key is take your time with it. That whole video took maybe, what do you think, 15 minutes? 10, 15 minutes? We recorded it. We've recorded it. We've recorded the video, edited the video, and now we're about to post it. 15, 20 minutes, and make sure you're prioritizing at the start quality, right? Don't just bang out a piece of crap in 10, 15 minutes. When you're first starting out, it might take like an hour to make one video that's a really solid, well-edited, well-recorded video. But after you do it 100, 200 times, it's like a piece of cake. You can get a high-quality video in 10 minutes, right? Quantity does not matter at the start. You can do one video a day. It's fine, right? Do what you can handle, and naturally, you'll slowly start to do more. We're going to post this, and uh, boom. So yeah, it's officially posted. There you go. So if you guys want to learn even more in depth on how to do this, Peggy, my dude, just made 10,000 bucks in one day. That's profit, by the way. My guy is on another level. You want to know how he learned how to do that? Inside of TikTok Mastery. You guys have heard about it before. If you want to check it out, try it out for three days free. Link is in the bio. Anyways, let's get back home and make some more videos.
Is that solid? Is that a good plug, you think? Holy crap. That was fun. The video took 20 minutes to make, recording, editing, and posting. So you just do that three to four times a day. After 50, 100, 200 videos, you're gonna start seeing some crazy profits, as long as you're following the steps that I talk about in TikTok Mastery. Just keep grinding and I promise you're gonna make it happen. You're a G, you're attracted money. We're not chasing this stuff. The goal of making money isn't to buy a sports car. No, it's so that you have more freedom and time to spend with people that you love doing things that you love. So just remember that when you start posting. With that being said, appreciate you guys tuning in and I will see you inside of TikTok Mastery. Peace, peace, y'all.